So here's the plan for today. I'm about to start my junior year at the University of Texas at Austin as a music studies major, and I need to stock up on some reads for the semester. So let's head to TB Wins. So if you don't know what TB Wins is, it is a instrument repair store located in Denton, Texas. I always like to support local businesses as much as I can and not always buy my reads and such from Amazon. Tony actually does really fast shipping with all his stuff. So if you ever need reads, I will link the website down below or if you're in the area to get your saxophone repair. Anyways, let's head that way. Oh, and if you're new here, my name is Ethan. Like I said earlier, I'm about to start my junior year at the University of Texas as a music student, and I like to sort of document my journey as a college student. So if you like the content, make sure to subscribe down below. So I made it to Denton, like I said, just here to stock up on some reeds for the semester. I like to sort of get them all in bulk just so I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the next few months. I'm gonna test a few different cane reeds for alto and maybe soprano just to try and avoid legeres. Legeres have not been my friend recently. I might get a legere, but it's kind of hard when you can't test them out. I will be playing soprano and quartet next year, so that will require a, a few extra boxes just to supply myself for that. Hopefully I don't have to buy too much, but we will see. Hate reads, man. However much I want to go full cane read, there's no getting me away from the consistency of the Leger. Yeah. If, if I can get them to make 4.25 French, I've done everything I can do. What do you think about 3.5 Soprano for my concept? Or would you go for? Yeah, but I don't know if I can trust you, Rylan. You're the one who made me try the Silverstein synthetics. <sighs> So I finished up at Tony's. Uh, I probably spent about two hours in there. One of my friends from high school, Rylan Villarreal, who went to UNT and he was in the one o'clock lab band. He works at TV Wins, I think on the weekends. So it's always nice to catch up with him. I got a few different reads that I'll uh, show you later. And then I also caved and bought a gold plated Ishimori for my soprano. Play tested it a little bit, compared it to the BG uh, gold plated one. And then also my Ravna Versa X that I have right now. I think it definitely feels a lot different, feels a lot better. Definitely not a need, but more of a want. And I figured since I'll be playing a lot more soprano, I might as well invest in something that's uh, gonna help me sound a little bit better. I almost forgot to say, I also got to try a LeBlanc system, I think is what it's called. Uh, it's a different brand of horn. It has a bit of a different fingering system and it's definitely more in tune than the, the modern instrument. It was definitely an interesting experience and it was cool to see how horns may have been built back in the day, but I definitely enjoy my more modern instrument now. So I'm gonna head home now. I might grab some food on the way and then I will show you what I got once I get home. All right, so I've made it home. Let's see what I've got. So I got a Soprano. This is a signature Legere number four. I have been using 3.75s. However, as my Soprano chops get better, I find that it's just a little bit thin and I need something a little bit harder. So this should do. And as I use it, it should uh, wear down just a little bit to get to that perfect spot. If not, I plan on returning it through the Legere exchange program and I'll, I'll get something else. And then I got Soprano Blue Box three and a halfs. I texted a few people to see what they recommend on Soprano with the concept, and this is what a few people said. We'll try those out. And then lastly, I got some Alto V12 threes. I have tried the Dario three pluses. Those are too soft. And then I've tried Van Dorn Blue Box three and a halfs, and those are a little bit too hard. And I, what I can tell is that these will be in the middle of those two. So we'll see how those work. And that was all I was planning to get. I actually got out with only three things, which is a lot better than I thought I was going to. But as I was leaving, I was like, oh, what else do I need to get while I'm here? And usually they don't have these because they're sold out. Ishimori ligatures for Soprano. And I bought one. I tried the BG gold plated ones, uh, this Ishimori gold plated. 
I compared it against my Ravner Versa X, and I love the Ravner. It's nice and it will do wonders for you. However, this I put it on definitely felt different. I'm not sure there was any sound difference, but it definitely felt better. The low range was a little bit clear and the upper range was a little bit warmer. So yeah, gold plated Ishimori, got that. Now it will match my Alto. I figured we could talk a little bit about what's upcoming this semester. I move back down to Austin in the next week and a half, and then I'll be down there for about a week or two before school starts on the 26th. I plan on working on a few videos and some content for you all while I'm down there just a little bit early. Some of the UT Saxophone Studio also has plans to do a TMEA recording session where we'll be recording a few of the etudes and such, and then that will come out later so that you can reference that for when you're working on those etudes. And then I think the first actual thing I have going on when school starts is the second day of school. I have my band audition, which that material just came out on August 1st, like I had thought. Luckily, I have worked on a few of those excerpts um, throughout my My Summer Practice Journal series, a few of those like uh, Molly on the Shore, uh, and then I think the Rachmaninoff Symphonic Dances is on there. If you want to know more about how the audition process for bands and just the whole band layout is at UT, let me know down below and maybe I can make a short or a uh, longer form video if you'd like. If anyone's curious what my class schedule looks like, I think I'll be taking around 13, maybe 14 hours. That's lessons, band class. I will be taking a third semester of music history. I will be taking a woodwind technique class where I'll learn how to play flute, clarinet, and sax. And then I have a children's literature class, which I'm not entirely sure what that class is built up of. And then finally I have conducting. I think that's pretty much all I've got for you today. For the next week and a half, I'll be continuing teaching marching band at my old high school. And then I will be just sort of packing up my stuff, getting ready to move out uh, at the middle of August. And yeah, I'm excited for what's to come. I've really been enjoying the summer. I've got lots of content out and it's been a lot of fun expressing my creativity in this different way. I hope that this next semester I can put out a lot more content and see the audience grow just a little bit. It's been really fun and I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. I will see you next video. Peace.